if it's just a prank, um, it's a dangerous prank. Officials in Bedford Township are dealing with a type of vandalism they say they've never seen before. Someone opened a fire hydrant valve and that released 200,000 gallons of water. Put it in perspective, that's enough to fill about four above ground swimming pools. A lot of water wasted. And Maria Miller talked with the Water Authority today and has more on this tonight. Maria. Well, Marty, officials tell us the hydrant had been spewing water for at least three hours. Luckily, a man who lives nearby noticed and placed a call. Otherwise, it could have been a lot worse to the point of a potential public safety threat. The water level in the tank had dropped two and a half feet, um, which means it je is jeopardizing uh, pressure within the system. It's also jeopardizing potentially if there's a need for, for water for a fire, you know, that it less pressure, less volume. So you know, it was a very serious item to us. And you can see in this video just how rural that area is. The hydrant police say was tampered with Sunday night is at the end of a road near the Bedford Township Business Park on a cul-de-sac that's not yet developed. Bedford Township Water Authority Director Luke Hoover tells us his computers show the hydrant was open sometime around 7 o'clock that night. It was a few hours before anyone noticed, but he says it's a good thing someone did because had they not, the hydrant had the potential of running the entire tank dry. He says there are alarms that would have sounded at the station had the water level dropped any lower. But even then, he says tracking down the problem could have taken hours with manpower they just don't have. We have miles and miles and miles of system. So if we have a problem, it's not like we can put our finger right on where the problem is. And because it was it was dark, you know, we would have been uh, out with searchlights, you know, potentially looking for the problem. Water officials tell us they just want people to know they're aware it was a deliberate act and something they will not tolerate. In the meantime, anyone with information should call state police in Bedford. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.